He can't get over the top of Hoy. And Hoy wins. And the stadium stand and applaud the performance of Sir Chris Hoy. Sir Chris Hoy, one of Britain's most successful sporting superstars, has announced in an interview with the Sunday Times that he has terminal cancer. It was in February this year that he announced that he was undergoing treatment for cancer. But for the first time, he's revealed that unfortunately, there's no cure for what he's got. Having discovered a tumour in his shoulder, he then went to see medics and they discovered that he had cancer in his prostate, which is spread into his bones. And he now has tumours in his shoulder, pelvis, hip, spine and rib. And it's stage four. Chris Hoy, judging from the tributes that he's received across the sporting landscape, is one of the most humble, decent blokes you could meet. And on two wheels, was one of the most successful. This is a guy that won six Olympic gold medals. He won that sixth one in London 2012 Olympics. And until Jason Kenney overtook him in 2021, nobody in 128 years of Olympic history had won more titles at the Olympic Games. He's won 11 world titles as well. And being a sprinter, there were few people that were quicker than him on a velodrome track. So Chris Hoy is actually in Denmark this week covering the World Track Cycling Championships for the BBC. So even when this diagnosis has been made public to the world, he's still working and still wanting to put himself out there and still explain his situation. Chris says in the interview with the Sunday Times that he feels positive and he feels lucky that he's able to extend and have more time with his family, even though the diagnosis is he may only have two to four years left to live. 